This video is brought to you by Harry's. Okay, one, two, one, two. What's up guys, salut, this is Alex and welcome back to the fried rice series where I'm trying to master a culinary monument from China, Chao Fan. <laughs> now in the previous episode, I've established that I suck at making fried rice. It's a dish that only is apparently simple. So, since I can't travel to China and just learn from masters of their craft, I'm gonna have to stick to Paris. And that might not be the worst thing ever. You see, in Paris happens to be the only Michelin star Chinese restaurant of France, okay? So basically, there's only one, it's right here, it's in Paris, and that's where we are going to. The name of the restaurant is the Shang Palace and it's located inside the Shangri-La Hotel which happens to be one of the five palaces of Paris. The chef there, Samuel Li Sum, is waiting for me. Very, very, very excited about it. Okay, let's talk about today's sponsor, Harry's, a personal care brand that delivers a close, comfortable shave at a fair price, as low as $2 per refill. Harry's support great causes as they give 1% of their global sales to non-profit organizations that provide mental health care for those in need. So I'm gonna share two things I do like about my experience with Harry's. First of all, as a chef who enjoys his chef knife really sharp, I hate it when razor blades become blunt. In the case of Harry's, their German engineer blades are razor sharp. That makes sense because they are razor blades, but in this case, they really are. Second, usually when I shave myself, I use hand soap. That's terrible. I have deeply enjoyed the rich texture and scent of their foaming shaving gel. It's suited for sensitive skin like mine. Now, if you want to experience it yourself, redeem your trial set for just $3 or get $5 off any shave set when you go to harris.com slash French. In your trial set, you'll get a five blade razor, a weighted handle, a travel cover, and their foaming shave gel. Harry's also offers amazing gift sets starting as low as $15, which would make for an ideal Father's Day gift, especially as you have the option to engrave the handle. Such an improvement when it comes to hand soap. Thank you, Harry's, for sponsoring this video. Hello, chef. Bonjour, Alex. Salut, bien? Oui, ça va. Ça va bien, et vous? Oui. Superbe. So I'm Chef Samuel Lee. I come from Hong Kong. I trained in Hong Kong, executive Chinese chef. Mm -hmm. After I moved into Shanghai, in Beijing, in Wenzhou. When I was a kid, I, I like to go in kitchen to see what they cooking, my mother what cooking. I'm very interested about cooking. Was there a specific dish that she made that you love? Oh, very simple, fried rice. You can, you can taste it's different because when mama cook at home, mm -hmm. they will choose the best ingredient, they will choose the best way to cook for, for the kid, right? Mm -hmm. So you will feel the love. You came to Paris how many years ago? Six years. Six, six years ago. Do you like Paris? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I would like to promote Cantonese cuisine in Europe, in Paris. How much do you think you mix French and Cantonese vibes? Technique, origin, taste, origin. Ingredient, we use the local ingredient. The best, the best, the best part, top French local product. Yeah. 
Thank you so much for having me today. You're welcome. I'm on a mission at the moment. I'm, I'm trying to understand how to make fried rice at the restaurant level. The problem that I've got at the moment is that I don't think I've ever experienced real fried rice. So I don't even know what I should be getting in the end. Okay. Uh, I will show you how to cook the famous fried rice yes. in Jean Palace. Exactly, and, and so I can taste it and I can yeah. see the rice and the thing. Can you, tell, can you tell me about the ingredients you use? Yes. yes. Uh, this ingredient, today I go in market to choose the fresh ingredient of today. I saw the scallop, it's uh, very fresh. So I choose scallop and shrimp and asparagus. Okay. Now it's a season. Is this like a regional Chinese fried rice or is it a seasonal fried rice? Seasonal fried rice. Fried rice ingredient is very flexible. You can put anything you like. Okay. But you need to know the basic technique. Yes. The wok technique, how to control the wok, how to control the heat. We use the jasmine rice. Jasmine rice. So this yeah. is Thai rice, no? Yes, Thai rice. So we uh, steam the rice with the uh, same amount for the water. One part rice, one yes. part water. Yes. This, this seems to be a very important um, element of fried rice, right? Yes. The, the grains have to be separated. Yes. And they stick together. It's not the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I, I, I want to I wanna see how you make fried rice. Okay. What type of oil this is? Uh, sunflower seed. Sunflower seed. And then you've got water right here. Water. Here is the hot water. Here is the cold water. Why do you have like two different temperatures? The cold part is for the washing the wok after you're cooking. Because if you use cold water for the cooking, then you would change the temperature. Change temperature and the speed. And in there you've got? The sea salt. We have a sugar, okay. we have a light soy sauce. This is a Cantonese wok, right? Yes. Well, I'm, I'm ready. So, uh, for the first step, we uh, open fire, and then we open fire just the leg. Okay, wow. Open fire, just the leg. Oh, wow, okay. Things are getting pretty intense in here. Even with my mask on, I, I can smell the the toasted notes. Wok hei. That's the wok hei. Wok hei. That's the wok hei. How long does it usually take to cook fried rice here? Three, four minutes for the one portion. Three minutes? Three minutes. Three minutes to, to cook the whole dish? Yeah. Okay. Everything is prepared and then you cook it in three minutes and it goes straight to the table? Yes, absolutely. So maybe we should go straight to the table then? Yes, sure. Okay. Yeah, so over there? The yes. Where okay, cool. Wow. Can I follow you, Pierre? Of course. See, this is yours. Okay. I've been waiting for so long. I'm finally gonna be experiencing true Genuine Cantonese fried rice. This is a first timer for me. Wow, just waves of fragrance. The scallops and the shrimps. It mostly smells like rice. Man, it's absolutely stunning. All the little grains of rice are independent. It's beautiful because everything is coated with a shine. Light green with the green onions. 
gonna say something very weird. It smells like waffles. Toasty, nutty smell of waffles. If I were to taste this with my eyes closed and taste the regular average fried rice from your local takeaway, I don't think you would be able to say that these are within the same realm. Such a raw, genuine, profound difference. I must be the luckiest person on the planet at the moment. <laughs> I didn't expect that the dish to be that fresh. I thought it would be more like a in-your-face flavor. There is a bit of that, but it's not that. If you take a very close look at the grains of rice, you can see that they are slightly toasted. It's a dish with a lot of personality. The individual grains of rice they are almost al dente, slightly chewy. The asparagus are amazing in that dish. This dish is a celebration of technique and ingredients, his culture as well. It's also embracing the place where it's standing at the moment. We're in France, asparagus are in full season, and the chef just captures all this and mix it up into one astonishing dish. I think I now have a clear representation of how fried rice is supposed to look, taste, and smell like. That dish is alive. I mean, it was alive, because now it's, it's gone. <laughs> but it's a life, okay? Yeah. Well, thank you, Chef, so much for this. Thank you. I'm gonna thank keep practicing that. Yes. Thank you, man. Thank you. See you well. <laughs> right, guys, this is it, okay? I'm right now on the, on the rooftop of the Hotel Shangri-La in Paris. So, like, this is just any other view. But if I just go like this and like this... There you go. Huh? There's a little attitude building up right now, right? It has the best view I've seen in years, and yet I can't focus on this because my mind is all about fried rice at the moment. I had the most amazing fried rice experience ever. I was expecting something intense, something bold, like a slap. This is not what I got. I got a gentle tap on the shoulder telling me this is what you should be aiming at. I learned so much about the texture, about the smells, about the visuals. I know what the finish line is. What am I laughing at? This is the nerves. Because it feels like it's gonna be really, really, really hard to achieve, to put it out, okay? As much as I want to enjoy the view, I don't think we have time for this. I'm gonna go back to the studio and practice, and practice, and practice, and practice. So, we'll see us in the next one. Bye-bye. Salut.